to South Africa now, where President Jacob Zuma continues to face mounting pressure to step down after instituting a cabinet reshuffle a few days ago. The reshuffle included the axing of the finance minister, Pravin Gordon. The sacking of Gordon saw markets negatively reacting. Senior ANC leaders are holding a meeting to discuss the political fallout from that reshuffle. All eyes are now on that meeting of the ANC top officials. Observers say the party's top leadership is deeply divided after the reshuffle announcement. And this is after three of the six ANC top officials distanced themselves from the president's announcement. We can now cross over to Johannesburg and get more details and insights from Sumitra Naidu, who's joining us with an update. Uh, Sumitra, what has emerged though from that meeting of senior ANC leaders so far? Well, Beatrice, essentially a call for President Jacob Zuma to step down. It was quite a sobering gathering as ANC Stonewood spoke of uh, their own part in the fight against apartheid, the fight for freedom, the pain and suffering they endured as many were arrested, abused, and some of the uh, leaders talking of their time spent in detention, basically saying that they didn't fight for what is happening now, the abuse of power and decaying leadership. The ANC stalwarts uh, said they have no choice but to ask the president to leave office, adding that they were unanimous in their decision to, uh, and, and really echo, echoing the late ANC veteran Ahmed Katrada's call for the president uh, to step down. They said there was uh, just too many issues. They mentioned uh, the issue of the uh, president's in Kandla home and the fact that he failed to uphold the constitution, the state of capture report, um, and of course the president's uh, decision to reshuffle his cabinet uh, and push uh, Praveen Gordon out. Beatrice? Well, Sumitra, those are quite strong sentiments coming out of the ANC. So what has emerged from that meeting of, of, uh, of senior leaders, but also South Africa's largest trade union, COSATU, and South Africa's Communist Party, both core constituent ANC allies, have called for Zuma's exit. Are their sentiments indicative of the dominant mood now within the ruling party? And if so, what happens next? Well, there are a number of meetings going on, uh, but they, um, they were, not, we're not getting too much detail. But after the cabinet reshuffle, it did become clear that there's definitely a rift within the ANC, and more particularly in the top six leadership. Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa said he was unaware of the reshuffle. He said the president just arrived uh, with a list of names. There was no discussion or consultation. Same with the Treasurer General, Zueli Mkhize. He wasn't happy with the changes either. The Secretary General of the ANC said he was also unaware of the changes. And with more people in various ranks, uttering the same uh, sentiment, it's become clear that only a handful of members actually remain with the president, um, calling, for, uh, calling for him to step down, uh, you know, calls for him rather to step down are growing louder and coming from more quarters. But what happens within the party, whether there's actually enough support for him to go or stay, still remains unclear at this stage. As it stands, only the ANC can recall uh, President Zuma as president of the ANC and then look for a new president of the country. But as long as he remains ANC president, he will remain president of the state. Beatrice? All right, uh, Sumitra Naidu, that update for us from Johannesburg.